Chrissy was first introduced to many of us as the girlfriend of rapper and Dipset member Joseph Guillermo Jones II on Love and Hip Hop. And in the matter of public opinion, she was seen as desperate and foolish, but solid with beautiful hair. But that's only partially true. Yes, she's been with Jimmy for 18 years since meeting him down in Miami in 2004. And after countless quarrels and two engagements, there's not much to show for it from the outside looking in. But Chrissy has no desire for children and is content with being a stepmother. And with the passing of her parents and grandparents, she doubled down on that. Mainly because she has no immediate family outside of a sister from her father's side. Chrissy is the only child on her mother's side. And with her parents divorcing, leaving her to live with her maternal grandmother, something her and Jimmy have in common, as well as her relationship history with men, she's not too concerned about the sanctity of marriage. Something else her and Jimmy have in common? Growing up in the streets of Harlem, Christine Chrissy Lampkin was born April 27, 1971. The Afro-Cuban beauty jumped off her stoop at the age of 15 and right into the game. What game, you say? The game of thievery, credit card schemery, and drug traffic trick, amongst other things. She reportedly hooked up with Jay-Z around this time, as well as Alpo Martinez, the drug kingpin that Jay-Z was running with. At 21, she was arrested for her involvement in an interstate drug trafficking ring. The next year, she was featured in Apache's Gangsta Bitch video. This is in 93. Have you heard of the movie Paid in Full? Based on the real-life experiences of one AZ Faison, Chrissy was in the midst of that, not only dating Martinez, but Rich Porter as well. Jumping from hustler to hustler, she stole $32,000 from one of them and went down to Miami to live it up. He tracked Chrissy down and left her homeless and toothless. But Chrissy knew some people, and when they tracked him down, they threatened him with RICO charges if he didn't pay back her medical bills and give her a place to stay. That would be her last encounter with the dope boy. She dated a couple Knicks players after that. And then came Jimmy, somebody not as threatening, a little bit more exciting, yet still connected. It's reported that Chrissy is the reason Jim Jones fell out with Cameron and other Dipset members in 2006. The streets and the gang was clowning Jimmy for being with Chrissy considering her history with the men that she had been with. Cam even created shirts. Tricky Ricky, aka Jim Jones, is a trick. He was upset that Jim would spend so much money on Chris and neglect the gang. Cam has since apologized. Swipe for part two. Paid to do a part two, but it was necessary. In 2013, Chrissy was charged with third-degree aggravated assault and one-count disorderly conduct for busting a girl in the head in Ridgewater, New Jersey, unwelcomely sashaying her way into a section Chrissy had at Spirit Lounge. A dipset video girl and fan was doing too much, and Chrissy wasn't having it. An altercation ensued in the coat check area of the bar, resulting in the young lady needing to be hospitalized. After a couple hours of being detained, Jimmy came and posted bail. But Chrissy has long since put the madness behind her. No love in hip hop. Long distance happiness with Jimmy because she resides in Miami and he lives in New York. As well, she inherited some real estate property from her grandfather and has found her passion buying and flipping properties with her company She Flips with her partner Indira Martinez. A hood story with continued happiness. <laughs>